We have a brand new addition to the Subaru family here on Driven Gears Automotive. This right here is my 2023 Subaru Impreza hatchback. So I got this vehicle um, last Tuesday, right after work. I work at a McDonald's, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I managed to pick this thing up. I've worked so hard to you know, raise enough money to now own this hatchback. And I always wanted the cross truck, but I couldn't really afford like the monthly payments for I have to pay like 13% for the um, cross track for the new one. But I got something much better and much cheaper. I got this instead, which is basically the same thing. This is basically the same kind of part as a Subaru cross track, but the only thing is it's lower. It's lower than the cross track, but it's the same counterpart. I'm basically driving a cross track. But yeah. This is my new addition to the Subaru family here on Driven Gears Automotive. Um, right now, it's currently sitting at 53 miles on it. And yeah, uh, my next... So this is not under warranty, so I can do my own oil changes. But I can just have to go to the Subaru dealer get some tune-ups, like spark plugs. Um, I can't do spark plugs myself on a boxer engine because you have to take the quarter panel off. and Exactly. So I have to go to the Subaru dealership and they can do it for me. I get free car washes here on in the like, Shaw Subaru. Uh, my first ever um, oil change is at 37.50, so that's my very first oil change here on this vehicle. Um, let's actually go through the interior and all that stuff, all the features that I have on this model. So without further ado, let's talk about the features that this vehicle has in store. So since this is a base model, features are limited to everything. So. Without further ado, let's get started. So you obviously do get your, well, electronic um, window and your window controls and everything, your good traction control. Um, so you have cruise control with lane departure. That's what these little cameras here for that most modern Subarus all have this stuff. Um, you get halogen everything with the halogen headlights and the halogen um, head up display. Um, you do also have like your function where you can change the, in this little display. So if you press info, for example, you can just press this and then you have these little paddle shifters that can, you know, change the display of like, if you want to do, what like, you want to do a speedometer display, you can do miles to gallon, or you can check out your um, PSI on your tires. Um, so this doesn't also have a um, push button start, but this actually has an actual key right here. I just, yep. And then you have your climate control. So pretty much you just select your climate, like you say AC, all right, you just press the button. Um, and then your, yeah, same thing with everything, these buttons here. Actually, let's get you, you know, let's, let's actually start it up actually. Yeah, so this is your display, everything. Um, so let's say, let's go to info, actually. Close my door first. All right, so this is your info. So you see that I'm already on my digital display on my speedometer. Let's see what happens if I just change it to my, yep. If I just change it to, yep. I get my MPG, which just doesn't say anything. 240 miles to my next fill up. Same thing with this display here. Yep, and then this is my 20.7 miles to the gallon. Yes, this is my PS, PSI with the tires, so you should say like 40s all the way around. And now this is my display for my speedometer. I think most people do love this. I do love this myself. 54 miles on this car. And this is my six and a half inch touchscreen and everything. This is my dials and everything. Yeah, so pretty much if you want AC, for example, uh, you just change, you just kind of play around with this. Right, and you just select your AC, you know. Right, yeah, so then same thing with your defrosters and yeah, exactly. So everything like that, you press your home button. Here's your apps with phone settings or shortcuts, apps. Yeah, you have apps like Pandora, Apple CarPlay, Maps and Android Auto. Settings, so if you wanna do driver profile, brightness, display screen, um, volume, so if you want to change your volume, actually, let me do that real quick. Actually, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, do we have that? So, my, so, go to sound and your sound position, right? 
where you want to position your sounds like so that everything's equal right now so if you want to if have volume coming out of your your speakers coming from the left you just easily just do that and it just targets that but i just keep it out of the center and you just chase your bass your mid your trebles for your music and then you how much volume gain microphone game because if you want to talk to somebody on your phone usually microphone volume yeah everything so everything is a base model you don't get the uh, heated seats unfortunately if you upgrade to another, the higher model you do get the heated seats with the x mode uh, this is your cvt transmission automatic with the manual shift override most modern supers do have the other version don't have this stuff um, but this is a normal automatic transmission but everything's also manual here with the you know your parking brake and everything you just lift it up like like so and then same thing with your seat controls too like you just lift this little lever and just you know it, it just scoots back wherever you want to adjust it and then yeah so with this base model it is similar to the cross trek actually um same power band same 152 horsepower actually let's lift the trunk open oh yeah everyone asks like when they do car reviews well what does the engine look like what engine do you have so this is a two liter FB20 Boxer 4 engine that gets out 152 horsepower. Same engine design as a Subaru Crosshack. It's basically, is the Subaru Crosshack, but lower because the same counterparts. But yeah, so this is a base model, 152 horsepower, which is, you know, zero to 60 in nine seconds. I mean, who needs to go that fast? But yeah, this is what powers everything. So yeah, this is the side view of the vehicle. I really love the vehicle. I got this last Tuesday. Yeah, so this is my one week review of this vehicle, even though it's not Tuesday. But, you know, that's the weekend. I have all that time in the world on weekends. But yeah, just kind of make a cir full circle around it. Yeah, but yeah, I've got to go to the um, interior. All right, so this is the back side. So basically I do have enough room between my knees and the seat um yeah i mean it's a subcompact crossover basically but i do get really good room knee room between the seat and myself um basically headroom as well i'm actually five foot seven um not touching i do have a couple more inches left on the before my head hits the table sorry my head hits the roof <laughs> i said table accidentally but my until my head hits the roof so i have a couple more inches but yeah so this is actually a nice interior in here as well. Everything is black cloth, no heated seats. Uh, you don't have these USB ports in the back, only on the front. You do have the Apple CarPlay if you charge, if you just put your stuff in there, you have the cigarette lighter. But yeah, this is everything. Yeah, it's in a spiffy with the same cup holders. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cup holders in this car. Uh, trunk space, I'd say, actually let's go to the trunk actually. So same thing with the cross check, it's a 60-40 split. So let's say, yeah, let's just go put this down. All right, so you have the 60-40 split. So 60 and then add 40 to it. Same thing with the cross check, the subcompact crossovers. Yes, they know for the small trunks, but 60-40 split, you still have good cargo room, decent size. Uh, tailgate with the lights and stuff. Like if you want to tailgate and all that good stuff, do you have one light in there? Yep. And your light, low light switch. And you, if you want to put like a water bottle right there, that's all that good stuff. You can add a net to it. That connects from here to there. Yeah, if you want to add dogs in here, if you want, just drop them into the back. And yeah, exactly. And just, you know, ride along with your dogs. Yeah. So basically, this is my 2023 Subaru Crosstrek. Um, let me know what you guys think. And this is a perfect, you know review for this 2023 subaru cross the new di new addition to the subaru family here on german gears automotive thank you guys so much all right guys so that's my 2023 subaru cross track we are on the way to 1000 subscribers we are so close to 800 we're about 11 subscribers away from 800 subscribers if you guys want to see some brand new content with my impreza stay tuned click the subscribe button yeah we'll see you guys in the next video for more reviews on Subarus and more adventures with my new Impreza and also the Forester as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.